Ever wonder how musicians get hooked up with major motion picture soundtracks? Well, it might not always happen the way you expect. This is just one story from a band who wants to save the planet. <laughs> This is Heather Vale reporting for Word, and I'm with Peter Morrison, the lead singer and founder of the band Temple of Sound. Peter, how would you describe the sound of your band? Uh, the Temple of Sound is a very futuristic band. Um, it's a uh, new age uh, concept with uh, heavy rock. I noticed on the front of your bio it says, the most mystical band of the 90s. Well, we're trying, we're trying to be a... Um, Reflecting on what the philosophers and the prophets of old have written about, and they sort of uh, have taken all their different philosophies and then put it together into what's happening today in the world and uh, the issues that are uh, concerning man's survival in the universe. Interest peaked in music in the first place. Um, well, I was uh, I was taking piano lessons when I was a little kid, and uh, I just came up with this melody, and it was so haunting, and I kept working on it, and I think I'm writing the same song still. <laughs> now, the title of this album is Transformation Part One. What exactly does Part One mean? Uh, well, Transformation is a trilogy, and Part One is uh, the first part of the story where uh, we're looking at uh, humanity as a collective consciousness and uh, humanity going from, from the stage of uh, the awareness, like uh, as you see on the cover there, there's a guy in a straight jacket going from our mind that's in the asylum to our very cosmic consciousness of the universe. So what are part two and three gonna have? There's a new song I've been working on, it's called Coming Closer, and it's a story about uh, what's happening in the world today and if we don't change the, the ways of plant, like uh, planting trees instead of uh, tearing them down and, uh, and destroying the planet, uh, we are going to bring the end and the song is called Coming Closer. So it's, it's sort of got different meanings on what might be coming closer, but it's something you have to listen to the music. There's no sexual connotation there. Um, well, maybe not from my point of view, but uh, a couple of people have suggested it. So. Okay, now the first song on this one, part one of Transformation, is a song called Expect No Mercy. And you've just released a video which is playing behind us, and it was released in conjunction with a movie of the same name. How did all that come about? Well, uh, as, uh, you know, as being a musician, uh, you have to sometimes uh, have another uh, job. So I was working on a, a movie as a driver, and uh, some of the people in the, in the film company uh, heard my song and they asked me if I wanted to write a song to try out for the movie. So I wrote the song um, true to the script on what was happening with the lyrics and I managed to uh, get the footage from them and put it together and put this video together. On the cassette says the Temple of Sound. On the front, it's Om and the Temple of Sound. Who is Om? Well, uh, Om is a mysterious character, a harbinger of truth uh, emerging from the shadows of man's mind. And it's a comic book character that I've been developing for the past 10 years. And uh, it's he's a time traveler and he comes to the earth to uh, warn the people from, of the folly of their ways so that uh, humanity can change the course that it's on, so hopefully we could uh, build a brighter future for the planet. Is an ohm a physics term? Yes, ohm is, uh, there's also Ohm's law, which is the resistance in electricity, and there's Ohm, which is the uh, universal chant, or, or the, the first name of God, of the, uh, the Indian God, and that's spelled O-M. But uh, I use both those philosophies in the music, in the concept. 
And I see that this is also released on Ohm Records. Yes, Ohm Records is the label that uh, I've developed over the past 15 or 20 years. in the future for the Temple of Sound? Well, of course, our music, and uh, we're finishing uh, part two and three of the trilogy, the comic book that comes out with part two, and uh, a movie that uh, I'm in the process of writing right now called Transformation, which uh, will be with part three, and that's a, a rock opera. Tell me more about this movie. Uh, well, it's based on the comic character Ohm, and uh, what it is is this personality named Sky Ripperman who's uh, taking control of the planet uh, through brainwashing the youth with uh, heavy metal music and uh, corruption and violence and uh, eventually taking control of the earth and Ohm comes to the rescue and saves the planet. Is this a statement against heavy metal music? No, not at all. I actually like heavy metal. It's just there are certain types of it. There are certain types of it that, uh, that lead very much towards the evil. I try to uh, turn the music towards the very positive to the betterment of mankind. <laughs> 